Well, the city of San Francisco, always on the cutting edge, is now hoping to influence what you eat. The Board of Supervisors has okayed a resolution declaring meatless Mondays. ABC 7's Carolyn Tyler explains. It's Tuesday, so have whatever you want. But on Monday, San Francisco says, please don't eat meat. Think about eggplant parmesan. Supervisor Sophie Maxwell has been a vegetarian for 35 years. She believes if residents gave up meat once a week, they and the planet would be much healthier. Today, her resolution passed unanimously, declaring every Monday meatless to encourage restaurants, schools, and grocery stores to offer plant-based options. I think people should always eat meat. Carter Nguyen works for Prather Ranch, known for its certified organic beef. He's not down with that veggie thing. Vegetarians aren't necessarily healthy themselves. They consume a lot of tofu and soy and corn-based products that make fake meat, which doesn't make any sense to me. It makes sense to others, like former Beatle Paul McCartney, who's part of the International Meatless Monday campaign, designed to reduce our carbon footprint. This restaurant, The Loving Hut, in Chinatown, is a big supporter. Yvonne Chow says going without meat makes her happy. Guilt-free and uh, compassionate and, uh, yeah, the love within you grow as, as your love for the animals um, develop. We're told San Francisco schools already offer vegetarian choices every day. There are definitely studies that connect better nutrition with higher academic achievement. Critics of San Francisco's measure say the city has more important things on its plate, like a massive budget deficit. Yes, there's a budget and it will always be there, but what you put in your body, you are what you eat. Your health is extremely important, and without your health, you cannot think about the budget. This resolution doesn't mandate or require meatless Mondays. It simply urges you to give them a try. No thanks, says this visiting carnivore. I hope it doesn't come to L.A. meatless Monday. Yeah. Other American cities support the concept, but none goes as far as San Francisco. In San Francisco, Carolyn Tyler, ABC 7 News.